Hi, I'm Julia, and I'm going to answer the question, can line segments be congruent? Now, for something to be congruent, it has to have the same shape and measure. Well, all line segments have the shape of a line segment. It doesn't, it's, it's that. It doesn't really get, does not vary from this. So, first of all, they all have the same shape. So, when it comes to line segments and congruency, what we really care about is do they have the same measure or do they have the same length? So, let's look at these two that I've drawn here. Um, let's make this one a little longer because what I'm going for is that they are congruent. And yeah, there we go, same, about the same length. So they are congruent. The way we mark that they're congruent is we add tick marks. So even if you held up a ruler and measured them and your ruler didn't say they were equal, if I put the tick marks there, I'm saying they're congruent and you just have to trust the way I diagrammed it. Um, the orientation of the segments doesn't matter. Um, you could write these. These are congruent. They do not have to be oriented in the same direction, just the same length. That's all you need. Um, the way that you write it out, if this is segment AB and if this is segment CD, we would write AB. You put a little line over it that shows that it's a segment, not a line. Is congruent. And there's the symbol for congruency to segment C, D. And then this little guy here, let's call this one E, F. Make that look more like an E for you. All three are congruent. So this is congruent also to segment E, F. Again, don't just write E, F. You need that line over there. So just as a recap, as long as line segments have the same length, they are congruent. Now you know. I'm Julia.